hello YouTube rocket 007 here in the last video I hadn't concluded on this project so this would be a continuation to how to drag from point to point using line to the and mouse input and all those as you can see I successfully did the tracking back of the lines it was really 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 it was really really complicated I, I wouldn't like really complicated but I, I surprisingly got it working and um, yeah for debugging reasons I added um, colors to the position of the points and also the index text so I know which particular point it is I still needed to add a way to get text from the buttons so I slapped in a label As you can see, it, it doesn't clean off one when you release the button, and all of them are just adding up. Even though we only have four buttons, so I fixed that as well. Actually, yes, you can see here is there's to retrieve the data. There's just an array called word dragged, which, I, if you keep an eye on it, you'll notice it's anytime you select a button, it will put it into the array then when you deselect it it you know removes it accordingly and when you release the button the mouse button everything gets cleared and yeah that's just that's just the way of that this whole thing you can just retrieve your data from over there the word dragged array next thing I wanted to add were the labels on the texture button because right now you can't really see which button you select and like I said, this is this are actually texture buttons, images, image buttons, and there's no. I don't think there's a way of setting a text on it. I think so. I had to do that myself manually, and it was really crazy because I didn't fully understand transformations. I didn't understand that there's global transformations, so global positions and the um, normal positions, which is relative to the appearance. And because of that, it, I, I, it took me a long time. Like it took me hours, hours to try and get right I had to google a lot of stuff just to get this working but I was able to get it one thing again I'm happy about this is the way it's kind of standalone and easy to you know create more buttons like check it if I wanted to add more buttons I just do is duplicate say example this one make it a parent so make it a child of the parent okay after position it properly in this part you can see it works seamlessly like well doesn't that deserve a, subs a subscription just subscribe man <laughs> subscribe and it works a charm so you could just go in and add in a lot, whole lot of buttons and they will work perfectly well like the main reason I, I decided to actually go with this idea of making this because I didn't really get any good tutorials you know if you go into YouTube and you you know search platformer I mean you see a lot a lot when you search maybe puzzle games or you know crosswords sudoku etc i don't think you get so much so i just say let me i will join the community and contribute my part i like to point out that this is i know uh, it kind of looks like a tutorial it's not really a tutorial because i don't really have much exp i don't really have i don't really know much enough to say I will give out a good tutorial and besides I don't really think I'm cut out for that yet so I will just call this a dev log tutorial where I just show what I did probably how a few steps on how I arrived at it then I just give out the source code and um, yeah the code is available on github 
my github repository it's heavily commented though i think there are a few typos or actually a lot of typos but i'm sure it's pretty much self-explanatory and it will help so if you found this helpful useful in any way shape or form and you liked it why not so and also give me suggestions tell me what you think S bye